RT recently uh, published the report it commissioned from independent consultants Helen Bowden and Mediatique on the RTE orchestras entitled RTE Orchestras Ensuring a Sustainable Future. And the report has recommended inter alia that the RTE National Symphony Orchestra should be a national cultural institution uh, in its own right or within the National Concert Hall and that the RTE Concert Orchestra should continue to be part of RTE, functioning as a classic uh, radio orchestra. And this is based on researching the model of symphonic music provision around Europe and the changing environment in which public sector broadcasting now exists. Both the Minister for Communications, Climate Action and Environment and I have welcomed the recommendations of the report and in particular that recommendation dealing with the status of the National Symphony Orchestra. And the report offers the opportunity now to plan a way forward for both orchestras and ensuring that they can contribute fully to Ireland's rich cultural heritage. And we have asked officials in our departments to advance the recommendations of the report as a matter of priority. And this will require intense engagement between both of our departments and RTE and with the National Concert Hall. And the concerns of employees of the orchestras will also be to the forefront of considerations and there will need, uh, be a need to be, have significant engagement with them in this regard. And I expect to bring an early report to government to chart a way forward, including the steps which will be needed to address uh, the recommendations. So this is actually an exciting time for orchestral music in Ireland with the proposed redevelopment of the National Concert Hall and the government's uh, ambitions under the Creative Ireland programme. And since it's opened, uh, the National Concert Hall has been the backbone of the National Symphony Orchestra and there's now an opportunity for it to play an even stronger role uh, as part of these wider developments. And the proposals in this report should be of long-term benefit to the musicians in both orchestras and should help address long-standing concerns about orchestral provision in Ireland. Thank you,